Welcome back, everybody. This is another review and demo for the newest plugin from WP Manage Ninja, WP Social Ninja. If you're not familiar with WP Manage Ninja, they've got other WordPress hits like Fluent Forms, Fluent SMTP, Fluent CRM, and Ninja Tables. Now, in WP Social Ninja, they have added three features here that are gonna beef up your social impact on your own website. So the idea here is to bring content from around the web and get it onto your own site. So the first thing that it can do is to display social media feeds from places like Instagram and Twitter on your own website. I've got a video where I demonstrated that feature specifically. It will be linked down below. The second thing it can do is what we're gonna focus in on this video, which is to display customer reviews from third-party platforms like Amazon or Google My Business on your website. I think this is a super killer feature and we'll get into why a little bit later on. The third feature is the ability to add a chat widget to your site, but it's not any old chat widget. It's going to be a social media chat widget. So you'll actually be chatting with people on Facebook, WhatsApp or Telegram right on your own website. A video for that is coming shortly if it's not available already. So in this review, we're gonna go back to the second feature, which is again, displaying those customer reviews. And let's get started with a demo. I'll show you how it works and then I'll give you my thoughts. All right, let's begin. So let's get a first look at the social reviews feature of WP Social Ninja. The idea here is we're gonna grab our reviews off of other third-party websites and bring them back home to our website. I'm gonna be looking at a couple different ways to do this here. Let's start off with an Amazon product. This is the simplest way because we can simply copy and paste a URL and it's gonna go ahead and scrape all those reviews off of Amazon and allow us to display them on our website. So I've got a great looking Deadpool costume here. It's got 1500 reviews. I can simply copy the URL, paste it in over on my website, hit save. It's collecting the reviews off of Amazon. And now I could either add more products or I can go ahead and create a template. Once the data is off Amazon, we can start to style it so that it fits with the look and feel of our website. So under templates right here, I can go ahead and choose one of the different options that are available. Right now we're looking at the grid layout. There's also a slider that's is gonna move you know, from left to right automatically over time. I can turn on the autoplay right here and I can also change how many slides are displayed at once. I think three looks best. There are lots of templates for the slider layout. So right now we're looking at Vega. I could choose Spica, Sirius, Real, Procyon. You can see it just keeps coming with lots of different templates. We can also display the reviews in a masonry grid and I can go ahead and choose a different template here as well. They're all available regardless of what layout you choose. Of course, I could also filter reviews that were not favorable. I could go ahead and choose maybe just four star and above reviews so that only people who like the product are getting featured. I could also exclude certain reviewers. So maybe I wanted to exclude a person who had written something kind of nasty or maybe off color. I could go ahead and find them uh, right here and get rid of them. Here's Jesse. We don't want to see her review anymore. Sorry, Jesse. Any of these items can be hidden, of course. If I didn't want to display the star rating, I could get rid of that, although that kind of defeats the purpose. Maybe these avatars are a little unnecessary. I could like everything else about the template, but the avatars are mostly just placeholders, so I could get rid of them. That already looks better to me. We could change the date format if we want. That doesn't look right to my eyes because I'm an American, so let's go ahead and just change it to uh, the actual date. That looks a little classier. I'm in. We can also add a header here. That's off by default, but if I turn it on, I can see that, okay, these are Amazon ratings and I'm asking people to leave a review. I think that's pretty helpful, actually. Of course, there are pagination options where I can go ahead and turn on page numbers. So right now I have the load more option show up after, let's say, three reviews on a page. So once you get everything looking the way you want, you can go ahead and title this template. Right now it's called Amazon template. Maybe I'll call it Deadpool Reviews. Hit save. And now I have this little short code up here, which I can simply click on, and it is copied to my clipboard. All right, let's go ahead and make sure this template is saved, and let's add this review section somewhere on our website. So here is the demo site that I'm working with. In the last video where I demonstrated the social feeds integration, I showed how to add a short code using Elementor. So this time I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to add a short code using Gutenberg. I've got a standard hello world default post here inside of WordPress. Now if I'm editing this post, I can go ahead and just add in a short code. I'll press slash and then type out short code. There's the short code block. I can paste in the short code that I just got off the plugin and we're pretty much done here. I'll hit update and let's go ahead and view this post. 
There we go, it looks great. Obviously the blog post leaves something to be desired, but it's very easy to get these reviews up on my website. Now I chose Amazon on purpose here because it's the only one that doesn't require you to validate your account. You can simply paste in a URL and show all of the reviews on your website. If you're using anything else like Google My Business or Facebook, you're going to need to add some authorization to allow your website to go into one of these services and grab the reviews for display. Let's go ahead and connect up Facebook and I'll show you really quickly what this looks like. So it's asking for permission to use my account as Dave Swift. And now I'm giving it permission to go ahead and show a list of the pages that I manage and read the content and read the user content. All right, that's good with me, I'll hit done. All right, I've now linked WP Social Ninja to Facebook. All right, so my Facebook configuration is complete. Let's go ahead and hit save. And it went ahead and grabbed the reviews for profitable tools and I can go ahead and create a template just like we did for Amazon. So here are three great reviews, just like we saw before. Maybe this time I'll use the masonry grid and let's choose one of the different templates here. All right, that looks nice. Let's save this and I can grab the short code. Let's go ahead and edit the home page, and we'll just drop it in here really quickly. All right, I'm gonna add a section right in here. Let's go ahead and add the short code widget. We'll paste in our short code, hit update. This is rendering correctly inside of Elementor. Let's check out what the page looks like live. And sure enough, there are my reviews. It looks pretty great. All right, so there was the demo. Now, before I give you my actual feelings on it, I do want to emphasize that I'm an affiliate for this product, but this is definitely not a sponsored review. My opinions here are genuine. They've not been shaped or influenced by anything anybody has said to me prior to me just trying out the product and making this video for you. If you find this review helpful, you can always click my link down below. That helps support the channel so I can make more video reviews like this one. All right, now let's get right into the review. I wanna tell you everything that I think about this. First of all, I see a lot of pros here. I think this is ultimately a big win. This feature is really worth the price of admission for the plugin because getting recent reputable reviews that are easy to be verified on sites that your customers already know. So if you're selling products on Amazon, but you want to pivot to selling them on your own website, if they can click and then see that product on Amazon with genuine reviews on it, that is going to definitely help influence them and get them to come back to your website, trust that the website is genuine and go ahead and finally make that purchase. It's also infinitely valuable if you're in the local services or brick and mortar, you know, actual have a physical location because all of that is driven through referrals and reviews, right? So being able to see actual human beings over on Google My Business saying, hey, yeah, this product is, is genuine. They did a good job detailing my car. They did a good job cleaning my carpet. All of that is really, really driven by reviews and recommendations. So getting that right on your sales page where people are scheduling the appointments is absolutely killer. And this plugin does a dead simple version of it. I mean, you just simply click a few buttons, authorize your account with the provider, and you're ready to go. Additionally, just like the social feeds feature, I have to point out that this is very fast. The short code that you put on your website does not noticeably increase the page load time. It will not slow down your site. It fits into the flow of the page very nicely. And I actually like that there are a ton of templates here so that you can customize it to look great with just about any layout. All right, enough gushing. Here is what I'd like to see them improve. First of all, I'd like to see them clean up the user experience. Now, this is similar to what I mentioned in the last video on the social feeds feature. Now, I think it's actually less important here with reviews than it was in the social feeds because with the social feeds, there was a lot more data coming in that we needed to filter out and craft so that it displayed only what we wanted on our website. With reviews, we're pretty much just filtering out all of the one, two, and three star reviews and then displaying only four and five star reviews on our website. That's gonna be what I bet 95% of business owners do who use this plugin. They don't want to show two and three star reviews on their website for obvious reasons. So I think it could still be a nice touch to be able to modify the style when you're actually adding the widget to your page so you can see a live preview of what it's gonna look like around the rest of your content. Things like changing the template or changing the colors right when you're on your page would be a big benefit. So something like a Gutenberg block or an Elementor element with those styling options baked in would be huge, but I'm not gonna hold my breath for it because that's not really how the plugin was designed at this point. 
So overall, I think this feature just about seals the deal for this plugin. I don't really have a lot more negative to say about it. I think if you own a local business or you do reputation management for other local businesses, then displaying reviews for your business or your services is an absolute no brainer. It's going to increase your conversion rates for sure. So this is a simple way to make sure you always have recent reviews on your website. I know that looking at customer reviews is the first thing that I do when I buy a product or try to find someone to perform a service for my home or you know for the business when we need something done, I always check reviews first. And you know what? I bet you probably do the same thing too. So keep that in mind. And when you consider how you're gonna add reviews to your website, if you're looking for an easy way to do it, I think WP Social Ninja is definitely on the right track here. If you're interested in learning more about WP Social Ninja, I do have two other reviews on this channel. Uh, make sure you get subscribed and check those out down below. If you wanna grab a copy of this plugin, I have a link down below as well that helps support the channel. But like I said earlier on, I'm enthusiastic about this feature because I genuinely see the utility in it and how it could increase profit for a lot of businesses out there. So that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out another one of my videos and thanks for watching.